In this video, we're going to take a look at using the MIDI sidechain capabilities of BlueCat plugins. I'm going to demonstrate this using BlueCat's Dynamics plugin to create gain reduction from a drum track and apply that to just the bass frequencies of a second stereo track using BlueCat's Mixer 7 plugin, effectively creating a multiband compressor. This technique can be used with virtually all of BlueCat's plugins to control just about any parameters of one BlueCat plugin using any other BlueCat plugin and parameters of your choice. Depending on your door, you may need to configure plugins as synths to use the MIDI output. To start with, insert BlueCat's Dynamics on the source track. This is the drum track that's going to generate the compression that will be applied to the stereo track. I'm going to load one of the presets that generates gain reduction every time the kick drum sounds. I don't want to compress the kick though, so we'll turn the wet dry control to fully dry. The source track is now unaffected by the compression. I want to generate MIDI continuous controller information from the gain reduction. The easiest way to set that up is via the user interface. Click on the Show Control Settings icon. This displays the control options beneath each control. I'm going to click on one of the gain reduction controls at the bottom of the meters. Select Settings and then Enable MIDI. I also need to note the channel and CC number. These can of course be set to any channel or continuous controller that you want. We just need to keep a note of them as we'll need to set up the mixer plugin later to receive this channel and CC number. These same settings are also available in the menu Preset Settings option. That's the setup for the compressor finished. Now insert BlueCat's Mixer 7 on the target track. In this case, the stereo groove track where I want to duck the bass every time the kick drum sounds. Now we need to set up the gain to respond to the incoming MIDI. Once again, show the Control Settings option by clicking on the icon. Click on the arrow button at the bottom of band 1's gain control, select settings, then enable MIDI, and set the channel and CC numbers to those we noted just now in the Dynamics plugin. Now we need to connect the MIDI output of the compressor to the input of the mixer. To do that, insert a MIDI track into the project, set the input of that track to BlueCat's Dynamics, and the output to the mixer. Depending on your door, you may need to enable synths for MIDI output. See your door documentation on how to do that. Now let's start playback and adjust the compressor controls. As the gain reduction is generated by the kick drum on the drum track, we can see and hear the gain reduction being applied to the low end of the stereo track. We can of course adjust the cutoff frequency of band 1 as required. Remember, this technique can be applied to almost any parameter within almost any of BlueCat's plugins, opening up endless possibilities of control.